Are you comfortable? Yes, sir. Okay. <coughs> so we'll discuss something. So. Okay. Introduce yourself. So my name is Purnima Singh. Mm -hmm. I am basically from uh, Kunda Pratapgarh district of Uttar Pradesh. Mm -hmm. I have completed my schooling from Kunda only from Prayag Public School. I have secured 93% in my class 10th and 80% in class 12th. Later on, I shifted to Prayagraj for my higher schooling. Mm -hmm. I have completed my bachelor's in arts uh, with the 70% uh, from Prayagraj only from Allahabad University. My parents, uh, I live in a nuclear family. My father is a businessman while my mother is a teacher by profession. I have a younger brother who is currently a school going student of class 11th. Uh, talking about my hobbies and interests, I love to dance, play out outdoor games as well. My achievements include, uh, I have recently participated in uh, the best cadet competition of Republic Day camp wherein I secured All India Rank 2nd. My aim is to serve my nation as an army officer. Okay, nice. Very good. So, you are from Pratapgarh district? Yes, sir. Uttar Pradesh? Yes, sir. Okay. The name of your village is? Sarai Saad Khan. Sarai Saad Khan? Yes, sir. Describe your village. So, uh, it is a very small village mm -hmm. in uh, the center of Pratapgarh district. Uh, near to my village is uh, Shringerpur, which is uh, of uh, very important uh, in the Hindu mythological as well. My village, uh, the uh, staple crop or crop of my village is uh, basically rice. Uh, the uh, or major occupation is also farming, except for the few families who are engaged in business activities as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the local market uh, near my village is uh, Lal Gopalganj market. Yeah. Uh, near to which uh, we also have the Mangad Mandir, which is uh, a, uh, the Mandir of Kripalu Maharaj, yeah. uh, which is also quite famous all over India. Uh, the people of my village are very cooperative and uh, hostile as well. Uh, this is all uh, about my village and I really love it. You told people are very cooperative and hostile as well. What do you mean by they are hostile also? In which sense I, you mean? I think I used the wrong uh, word, sir. Hmm. Uh, they are very cooperative and uh, hospitable. Okay. So, uh, how many houses may be there in your village? Sir, I don't know the exact number. Hmm. But if I am allowed to guess, hmm. then there would be around uh, 50 to 60 houses because as I mentioned earlier, it is a small village. Hmm. So, your village must have been attached to some other bigger panchayat? Yes, sir. What is the name of the panchayat? Uh, so the bigger panchayat is uh, Bihar panchayat. Bihar? Bihar is the block uh, near my village. So hmm. we come under that only. Achha, who is the Pradhan? So my father is the Pradhan. Your father is the Pradhan. Yes, okay. Right. <clears throat> okay. So your father is MA Beard. Yes, sir. And he's doing business? Yes, sir. What business he's doing? Sir, he's engaged in real estate. Achha. Yes, sir. He has done MA? Yes, sir. In which subject? Uh, sir, subject I'm not very much aware, but... Uh, yes, your I'm father, no? So if I'm able to recall, it was sociology is the one subject that I'm able to recall. Hmm. The other two, I'm sorry, sir, I'm not able to recall. Okay, your mother is a government teacher? Yes, sir. Where she is teaching? At, at the village itself? Yes, at the village itself. Okay. Your brother is in class 10? Yes, sir. Okay, nice. <coughs> okay, tell me two, two qualities, each of your father and mother, which you like. So. First father. So, my father, as I mentioned, he is the Pradhan of my village as well. Mm -hmm. So, he uh, his activity is related to social work. Mm. is something that I really uh, admire of him. Mm. So, uh, second is he is a very confident person mm. and that quality is uh, somewhere reflected in me as well. He has always taught me to be confident and to be able to express myself. The uh, when, uh, talk, uh, Moving forward towards my mothers, uh, 
Hmm. My mother is also a very confident lady. She is uh, the principal or the headmistress of her school. Second, she, she is also the leader of the Sikshak Sang hmm. of the area. So, uh, this shows that she has leadership qualities which I very much uh, admire. Second, she is very compassionate. Uh, her uh, ability is to be uh, sensitive towards the uh, feeling, uh, towards the issues that uh, all of the family members of my family face. Uh, this is something that really I admire. What your mother teaches? So, in a, she is a government school teacher. So, in a government school, uh, the teachers are asked to teach all the subjects. Mm. So, though she is very good at mathematics, but she teaches all the subjects. Okay, right. Your brother is in class 10? Yes, sir. He has just passed class 10. His two qualities which you have observed? Sir, one uh, that comes from my father, he has leadership skills and his confidence. Mm. Second, uh, he is also very compassionate towards people. His uh, nature of helping others uh, even in this uh, young age is something that I really appreciate. Okay, you feel closer to your father or mother? Sir, my mother. You feel closer to mother? Yes, sir. Okay, I hope you will feel closer to your father now. You should, if you want to be a commander. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. How is your relationship with your brother? It is friendly or formal? Sir, there is age difference, yes. Yes, sir. However, how is the relationship? So, my relationship with my younger brother is quite friendly mm. as we try to share each other's, uh, each other's problems as well and also whatever feelings we are currently uh, dealing with because uh, he is the only person that I live in, with a, in the home who shares the most amount of time uh, with. So, uh, we try to share everything that we are facing. Uh, we try to uh, share our uh, problems. We try to also solve uh, them out. Are you open so, to your mother? Uh, yes, I am open to my mother. Do you, are you able to share your secrets with your mother? Yes, sir. Right, okay. Now, coming to your friend circle. Sir. Okay. <coughs> Tell me how many general friends you might have, how many very close friends you might have? So, though I have a very big circle of friends, but uh, three of them are very close to my heart. Hmm. Okay, two ka naam batao. Sir, one is Ishika hmm. and the other is Tushar. Ishika belongs to which place? Sir, she is from Lal Gopalganj. It is hmm. very near to... What is her father's name? Arvind Keshavan. His profession? He is a businessman. How many brothers and sisters she has? So she, he, uh, she has one younger brother. Kya wo kar raha wo? So he is a school going student. Okay. Is she ka? Yes, sir. Why she is your very close friend? So one, because she is very supportive. Mm -hmm. She listens to my uh, problems and everything. She listens to me uh, in general. Mm -hmm. And she tries to solve all my issues. Second, she is very cheerful. So, uh, talking to her makes me at ease. Okay. Second friend? Second is Tushar. He belongs to? Lucknow. His father's name? His father's name is Arjun. What he does? His father? His father is an electrical engineer. Okay. Yes. How many brothers and sister Tushar? Tushar? No? Yes, sir. Um, kitne hai? He has one younger brother. Okay. Okay. His qualities which you like? Tushar's. So, Tushar is also preparing for uh, the CDS exams. Mm. So, uh, he is very, uh, his uh, focus, his determination to uh, crack that exam, one, I like, uh, I appreciate that. Second, he is also very supportive. He is very caring towards me. Okay. Have yes, sir. Why Prayagraj is famous? So, Prayagraj, uh, locally or worldwide known as the Sangam Nagri, mm -hmm. is quite famous because of the uh, Sangam of the three rivers the Yamuna River, the Ganga River, 
and the Saraswati. Hmm. Second, the Kumbh Mela hmm. uh, is the uh, affair that is organized or that uh, falls in the month of January and February. It is basically a Hindu mythological uh, festival that is celebrated there. Uh, second is the uh, uh, the monuments uh, related to the one is the uh, sorry sir, I'm just not able to recall the name. Uh, second is the Chandrasekhar Azad Park. Uh, these are the two places that uh, are very famous here. Okay, so Ganga, Jamuna, and Saraswati rivers three rivers meet. Yes, sir. Have you seen Saraswati? Sir, uh, Saraswati is considered to be hidden uh, in the uh, Sangam. Considered to be? Where hidden. it is written that it is hidden? Have you found any any book in which it is written that it is hidden? Sir, I haven't read a uh, book specifically, but uh, my grandparents used to tell me that Gupta form of Saraswati is there. No, it is very much wrong. You know, correct yourself. Sorry, it sir. is not that Saraswati, not that Saraswati river. Okay. It is Goddess Saraswati, okay. the goddess of Gyan. Okay. Okay. So. The goddess of Yan. What do you mean by Prayag? Uh, Prayag. Sorry, sir, I'm not aware. The exact name. Okay, meaning. Prayag is the name of a place where two rivers meet. Confluence of two rivers and mythological goddess Sarsati. Okay. Not Sarsati river. Okay. Okay, sir. Take a right. <coughs> In 12th class, what was your subject combination? So, PCM. Hmm. with English and physical education. Achha. Then after that you left science? Yes, sir. What subjects you took up? Sir, ancient history, geography and economics. Kya kya? Ancient history, geography and economics. Ancient history, geography and? Economics. Okay. What is the deepest point on the earth? Mariana Trent. Right. What is the depth? Sorry, sir, I'm not able to recall the depth. Oh, exactly. no problem. Koi baat nahi. Okay. So, <coughs> have more knowledge about your place. Okay. Sir. sir. About your place means Prayagraj. Yes, sir. Okay. So you have been, you have been playing these games now badminton, cricket, and chess. Yes, sir. So, what is closest to your heart out of this? Uh, so the closest is badminton. Badminton is closest. Yes, sir. Very nice. <coughs> so tell me some big names in badminton in India. So in India, hmm? uh, so Sanya, uh, Sanya Nehwal, hmm? one uh, and. P.V. Sindhu? P.V. Sindhu, yes, the P.V. Sindhu. So, Satvik? Sorry, Sam. Let, latest news kya hai? Latest kal ka news? I think I need Korea to read open. about it. Ye badminton mein ya tennis mein, Chirag and Satvik, they have won final. Okay. Hana? I'll read about it, sir. Okay. So, what is the dimension of the badminton court? Badminton court. Sorry, sir. I actually play uh, badminton with my younger brother, as I told. My bonds are really good. Okay, with you him. still have knowledge about all this. Yes, okay. sir. What is the height of the net badminton car? If I'm not wrong, uh, it's nine feet, I guess. It's not. <laughs> uh, okay, sir, okay, I read okay, about yeah. the dimensions. Okay, okay. Be I'll sure then only tell. Unless I sir. tell you to guess, don't guess it. Okay. Sir. Okay, nice. Okay. So uh, you have been playing cricket also, chess also. Yes, sir. Okay. Chess. With whom you play? Play generally. My younger brother, sir. With his younger brother. Yes. Sir. You know there is one title called Grandmaster. Yes, sir. Well, how Grandmaster title is given? So, Grandmaster is generally given to, is uh, a competition, I guess, and is generally given to the best player of uh, the chess worldwide, like it's a world level competition, chess championship. There is very elaborate process for this. Hmm? Okay. 
just find out or read about it on net sir okay creative play at what as Art batsman bowler how sir mostly at batsman but i also bowl sometimes so what is the weight of the ball jo women team ke liye hota hai uska weight kya hota hai sorry sir i don't know about the technicalities the women team ke liye jo hota hai that is 154 to 160 gram okay remember the data of your game right sir. okay how many world cups have come to india in cricket is two world cups mm -hmm. uh one was t20 t20 one champions trophy and one t so it is 2 plus 1 plus 1 you know okay your main team mein who is your favorite cricketer um uh, ms dhoni women team mein sir um, ms dhoni is my favorite uh, regardless ah. of the gender specification okay. why you like ms dhoni kyu so one because of his calm and uh, composed nature he does not gets very uh, like very aggressive on the field he takes uh, he takes wise decision he thinks uh, properly about that and his management skills his uh, team uh, spirits and management skills uh, planning and management skill is uh, something i really admire ye in cc mein so how many times you have gone on camps so it's been uh, over 15 times uh, as i mentioned earlier i have been in the republic day camp and the republic day camp goes on with various shortlisting processes which uh, makes a cadet to appear in uh, more than 10 camps so in the uh, second year i have been uh, in 2 uh, to 3 camps and in the final year for the republic day camp i have been to 12 to 13 camps no it's okay so even taking part in dance competition poetry writing sir republic day camp best okay. cadet competition okay dance competition so which types of dance ye jo hip hop hai ya classical hai what type of dance you like so semi classical semi classical yes sir okay <coughs> Are you aware about Kathak at all? Yes, sir. Are you trained Kathak dancer? I am not a trained Kathak dancer, but the semi-classical dance form involves the steps uh, from the Kathak only. Okay, some, okay, most of the steps from yes, this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Poetry writing. Yes, sir. Poetry writing. Where did you, did you develop this habit? So from my mother only. Mother said. Yes, sir. What is the subject of poetry? Romanticism. Acha. After passing your class 12, sir. Did you ever try to clear India written exam? No, sir. Why? Sir, because uh, I was uh, first of all the first two years were uh, the uh, lockdown period. So I was at my home then uh, at that time I was very much conserved with the and also very much clear that i have to first of all clear my graduation and uh, till then i haven't thought about uh, the army and uh, the armed forces life then uh, when i joined the ncc there i uh, i got this exposure to the armed forces and the military life and this this fascinated me a lot so this developed me the dream to become an army officer okay <clears throat> so you like to be army officer yes sir huh? good okay who taught you english in class 10 who are your favorite teacher in class 12 which was your favorite subject in class 12 how much you got in that subject who are the principal of the school when you left the school who is the dean of ilahabad university how many districts are there in uttar pradesh who is governor of uttar pradesh who is your member of parliament who is national security advisor how many commands are there in army who is cds 
and name some war fighting equipments of Indian Army. Answer. Sir, uh, first of all, uh, the uh, favorite teacher of um, in class twelfth, twelfth uh, was my principal only. He used to teach us uh, English. Second, English was my favorite subject uh, because I had most interest in that. Third, uh, the uh, pr my principal used to teach me English. Fourth. Uh, or the uh, PCM with physical education and English were the subjects. Uh, English, as I mentioned earlier, was my favorite subject. Then uh, the principal was F. R. Henvy uh, when I left the school. Uh, the uh, uh, the commands uh, there are seven commands in the Indian Armed Forces. There are uh, seventy four uh, district in Uttar Pradesh, if I'm not wrong. 72 or 74 uh, then uh, governor uh, the current governor is Anandi Bain Patel and in fact uh, I have recently been awarded with the governor's gold medal by her uh, but I am not sure if uh, she is the member of parliament or not uh, I will read about it later. Now, how, cover, how governor can be member of parliament? Uh, yes I was just <laughs> thinking. Be, huh? uh, okay, okay be sure. Anyway. Uh, you know, candidates call it rapid fire question. It is not rapid fire, it is a comprehensive question. Okay, Sir. just practice little bit Sir. and uh, try to answer in, you know, the same sequence as far as you can answer. Sir. Okay, at least 60 to 70 percent, try to answer in the same sequence. Practice little bit for I that. Practice, okay. So, are you able, able to help your father or mother in any manner at home? Yes, sir. In which way you help your mother? So in mother first in the households, second with the uh, TADA things. These are the certain booklets or chart papers that are useful in uh, teaching mm. uh, as a teacher. Mm. So I try to be creatively uh, like make those chart papers, those uh, hangings, those boxes that will help the students to grasp certain concepts quite easily. So I make the, them because I really like art and craft uh, uh, in, uh, to my, uh, my father. Uh, I sometimes sit uh, whenever he is free and discuss uh, whatever situations are going on in the panchayat. So I try to give him my suggestions if I was there as the uh, one of the member of the Sarpanch. So this is... Uh, Household job. Are you able to help your mother? Yes, sir. Kaise? One, uh, cooking. I love cooking. So, uh, in the uh, night time, I try to cook dinner for her because uh, for the family. Because my mother, she is a multitasker. She is a teacher. She is the head of uh, the Sikshak Sangh. She is also trying to, uh, her hands on some, uh, certain business. So, I try to ease out her uh, task. With Are the, you able uh, to make chapatis? Yes, sir. Nice chapatis? Yes, sir. Or map of India? Yes, sir. I mean, chapati are like map of India? No, sir. No, but a good chapati you are yes, able sir. to make. Okay. So, your family consists of your brother, your, your uh, mother, father. You have only four, no? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, For sir. four people, if you have to cook, you know, alu gobi ka sabji, sir. then with chota spoon, you know, masala box, how, how many spoons of salt you will put in that sabji? Sir, uh, if it is... Uh, Teaspoon? Chota wala masala box ka spoon? Yes, hmm. sir. Uh, sir, if I am uh, considering the right size, which is of this centimeter, I guess, hmm. then I will uh, put two spoons of uh, masala, the uh, sabzi masala that we call. Hmm. Salt? And uh, salt one and a half. Yes. One and a half, okay. Yes, sir, because uh, my father is uh, like. He has certain issues with uh, pressure, so mm. we all of us uh, try to consume less salt, less sugar, mm. so that uh, the health is maintained. Mm. Okay. Name the seven sister states of Northeast. Uh, Arunachal Pradesh, mm. Assam, Meghalaya, mm. Nagaland, mm. Manipur, mm. Tripura, Tripura, Mizoram. Okay, right. Can you name any three chief ministers from that area? From that area? Uh, one is Biren. Uh, mm -hmm. um, Biren Singh. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, 
because I'm not able to recall the chief ministers from that. Yeah, we try uh, to find out. Area. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> so name five chief ministers from rest of the India. Uh, Yogi Adityanath, Chief hmm. Minister of Uttar Pradesh. Hmm. Uh, Arvind Kejriwal hmm. from Delhi. Hmm. Uh, Nitish Kumar from Bihar. Hmm. Uh, Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu Haryana. Uh, Himachal Pradesh. Himachal hmm. Pradesh. Sorry, I correct myself. Hmm. Uh, one uh, Shivaji uh, Chauhan, Shivaji Singh Chauhan MP. कोई सिंह चौहान है मध्य प्रदेश ना भगवंत मान पंजाब भगवंत मान पंजाब ममता बनर्जी सी टाक सो मच ममता बनर्जी आर्मी ऑफिसर वाई यू वॉन्ट टू बी आर्मी ऑफिसर सर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दी चार्म ऑफ दी यूनिफॉर्म the uh, are uh, the civilized life that uh, a military person live hmm. this this is the thing i that i believe that there are certain things that don't specifically have reasons like if you ask a kid uh, why do you love your parents hmm. similarly if you ask me why you want to join join armed forces or why you want to become an army officer this is something that i just want this is something that i that i really admire to this is something that i really love being so uh, after come becoming an ncc cadet after seeing them so this is something that i just just want to be this is something like if you know you know i if i want to be i want to be then you should be able to you know express in words why you want to be military officer okay think about all this okay have you done anything up to this time for which you can feel proud of yourself yes, sir what have you have done uh, sir so in the republic day camp this this uh, event called best cadet competition which is a uh, competition conducted among all the cadets from all over india so i have achieved all over india second rank and uh, this is something that i really proud of myself nice very good Okay, so have you done anything up to this time for which you feel ashamed of yourself? Ashamed? Uh, so not really. Yeah, ashamed. for which you repent? Repent? So not really repent. There could be things that I am not very happy after doing, but not really repent. You are not really very happy with that. Ha! Huh, it could be things like that that I'm not very very happy about certain decisions, but not repent. Okay. So, how many commands are there in army? Seven commands. Seven commands. Name some war fighting equipments of Indian army. Uh, Indian army. AK forty seven rifle, AK two zero three, which is currently. Um, and uh, the helicopters if i meant mm -hmm. that uh, mig uh, one that that is your force call okay uh, see you are ncc candidate no yes, see sir. certificate yes sir hmm. so rifles okay helicopters are there but they are not war fighting what army has they are not war fighting helicopters there are you know uh, rescue for rescue work and uh, you know for observation purpose so you know what war fighting ke liye ye cheeze air force ke paas hai so. right so name some you know guns big guns top wagera hoti hai na do you remember the names yes sir which uh, top the um, recently uh. there one uh, Which has been induced in Indian Army. Dhanush. Dhanush. Yes. Uh, Both force. Uh, pr Prachand. Mm hmm. Prachand is one. Mm hmm. Um, I I was a naval cadet, so the INS uh, Indian naval okay, ships are coming okay. to one. Okay. Okay. Name name two uh, you know tanks of Indian Army. Okay. 
नाम बताओ प्रचंड टैंक्स अर्जुन अर्जुन ओके यू नो कंट्रीज आर देयर इन सार्क सेवन कंट्रीज थिंक आई थिंक देयर आर एट ना ओके विच आर द कंट्रीज इन सार्क दीज आर साउथ एशियन कंट्रीज इंडिया नेपाल पाकिस्तान श्रीलंका अफगानिस्तान भूटान बांग्ला बांग्लादेश म्यांमार म्यांमार आई मेंशन भूटान नेपाल अफगानिस्तान See, you got ninety-three percent marks in class ten, eighty percent in twelfth, and seventy percent graduation. Oh, this me graduation me seventy percent you got. Yes, sir. Why not eighty percent in graduation also? So, as I mentioned, first two years were in lockdown, so we were having online exams. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The online classes were also being conducted. so uh, for online classes we need proper uh, internet facilities which was not quite available at, at my village uh, second i was uh, busy with various other activities which i uh, got free time at my home so i was trying to explore uh, third uh, is in the third year of my graduation uh, i was quite busy with my camp so i couldn't pay much attention to the examination Okay, so okay, okay. <clears throat> See, you have stayed here in hostel, no? Yes, sir. Where? Which area? It's in Rambag. Rambag. Yes, sir. It is a government hostel. No, sir. It's a private hostel. Private hostel. So, with friends, you must be staying there, no? Yes, sir. Okay. Right. Okay, chalo. Let us take a case that yes, you are here. Sir. With one of your friends, you have gone to M G Road. MG Road. Ah, evening it is six thirty. So. Near Subhas Chowraha. So. Your friend has to purchase some something very small, you know. So after purchasing, you are coming out of the shop. So. Then two guys. So. Started teaching you. They are started passing comments. One of them, you know, pulled the chunni of your friend. So. What will you do? Okay, so they are on bike or they are. Ah, well, they are also roaming here and there, okay. not bike. Hmm. Okay. So first, I will uh, kick uh, on their legs. Second, hmm. I'll shout loudly so that I can gather more number of people around us so as to help us out. Uh, third, I'll call hundred uh, uh, the police line help line number or also the women help line number that is ten ninety. Hmm. This nice. way, I'll uh, help out. Very good. my rank is wing commander in the air force what is my equivalent rank in army oh, wing commander a brigadier nahi no. should find out sir theek hai na okay tomorrow is birthday of your brother okay your mother tells you to organize a small you know birthday party at home sir kal sir karke dikha First of all, I'll uh, make a list of all the relatives that I want to call. I'll send them a text message, or I'll try to call them also. Second, I'll make a budget of uh, uh, how many, uh, like, according to how many people, what all uh, the edibles and decorative items I have to get. Then I'll arrange a vehicle and go to the local market. I'll uh, purchase all the items, order the cake. Uh, then uh, i'll uh, uh, come back and prepare the uh, the uh, ingredients that will be required uh, for the uh, edibles or the food items that i have to prepare next day 
then uh, from the morning itself i'll try to uh, clean the house decorate uh, the hall that i want to prepare for the birthday party uh, then i at the evening i'll try to start uh, i will um, then in the evening i'll uh, make the food the food items i'll call the uh, all the children and uh, the friends of my uh, brother uh, that it's the time and uh, you all should come to the party and then uh, so where the money will come from my mother should mention first no? so i the budget should the be budget budget the first yes. thing should be the budgeting okay so you step out from the house for arranging something so you need some money yes sir so when you are going to organize anything you should think about the money money first okay sir i mentioned budget if i am oh, not sir, wrong okay 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 very nice so okay thank you thank you sir